Welcome to ITSS Online Training. I'm Pierre Fredriksen from Seven Technologies Denmark, and I'm here to present our SCADA system, ITSS. This is lesson 18, Custom Reports in Excel. We are looking at the ITSS Master, uh, the new control center in ITSS, and uh, we are looking at the Reports pane over here on the left side. Um, and as we can see, it says Reports will be available when the system is started, so let's start up the system. When we start the system, the supervise and alarm modules will be loaded. And we'll just minimize those two modules for now. And we can see that there are four reports over here in the pane, and these are all standard reports created in the definition program. Now let's do a custom report. Right click in the pane, select add. We call it production report. We get the generate and design uh, report dialog box and we can see that there's a working folder. This is a folder where we will edit a work copy of our report and um, later when we have finished the um, report we will check it in so that everybody can see it in our system. All the operator stations in a multi-user system will be able to generate that report. Let's check out and edit. We can see that Excel is loaded. We can also see that we have a um, pane over here on the right side uh, called ITSS Data. This is the specific reports pane that we include in Excel. Now let's um, start with um, let's start with the um, report here and uh, go into column B here and uh, we'll simply type object name that's one column in our report and the next one is daily production in cubic meters and we will put in the objects Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. The next thing we'll do is we'll go to the um, reports pane over here and we'll find Q1. Here's Q1. It is a flow water in measurement and we'll take the log data here and we'll take the actual value. That's what we want to include in our report. You can also see all the other data sources up here. Right, we go into the historical data dialog box and uh, we will want a sum for the day in this case. So the reduction up here will be the sum and the interval in our measurements will be days. So we will calculate a sum of all the individual readings that we can fetch here from the database. All these values are log values for Q1 and then we can calculate the daily uh, value. We click OK and um, we move on. We take the next one, Q2. Here it is. Move it into position and we fetch it and we calculate it. We take Q3 and here we have it, Q3, and we move it into the cell and we click Fetch and Calculate. Notice that IGSS will remember your settings up here. Every time it will remember your settings. And finally we'll take Q4, here it is, and we'll take Actual Value, drag it into the cell, and say Fetch and Calculate. Okay, these are the values uh, we want. Uh, we can put in some test values uh, right now because we'd like to do a little pie chart uh, displaying these values, uh, 56, 44, and 88. Okay, these are the four values, test values, and uh, we can highlight the whole thing here um, like this. And we can go to the Insert tab, we can do a pie chart, and here we have a nice chart, like this. 
and uh, finally we can right click on the chart and we can do add data labels this is the split between the four um, measurements and uh, we can now we're now ready for a preview of the report before we preview the report we need to do a few things we need to first of all go into sheets included in report we are right now looking at the first sheet in our Excel workbook sheet one and we want to go to report options and under report options we define the default report period this is the report period that is suggested to the end user every time he generates a report it is set to one hour but we will change it to one day in our case then we have something called the RMS report folder this is where we want to save all the reports that the end user will do uh, during uh, supervision we browse for the folder IGSS uh, configurations version 9 demo and we have a demo.r that's our report folder and we can even put in subfolders for year month and day for easier tracking of reports great now we're ready to generate the report and you can actually do this you can preview it uh, right here from um, Excel while you design the report but you can also do another thing you can uh, go exit Excel and save your changes and now we're ready to put it into operation we can uh, click on the check in button which will which will commission the report that we've just done in the working folder so check in will override the existing report we click yes and now the new report is in operation on all operator stations we click close and uh, we are now ready to use the report now if I was an end user right now I would still go to the reports tab here uh, normally I would be running in what we call runtime mode uh, which is what we're in right now and uh, the end user will simply double click on the report name and he will get the same dialog box but this time we're on the generate tab he can do a print preview an HTML output an Excel output or you can print it directly on the printer let's do a print preview generate it calculates the values and it gives me a nice preview here um, this is my report it looks okay but it can still be improved and uh, of course we have a lot of different parameters that you can use for improving your report you can put in logos and user-defined titles and um, of course when we're looking at the um, custom reports in IGSS it is also possible to do uh, event-based reports um, and, and you can read more about this on our website uh, and in the report help file so please refer to our website www.igss.com and thank you for listening